Hi everyone, this is Arcadius and welcome back to Naval Creed. Today we'll be going over the next British heavy cruiser, and that is the tier, what was it, tier 7? Yep, tier 7 cruiser Surrey. Now this is an improvement upon the county class, which we have just gone over, and it is actually one of the better ships of all this tech tree. I actually really, really enjoy this ship. Um, so let's see what we have to work with. We have... 38,200 health, 13% torpedo damage resistance, only up to 152 millimeters of armor, so about 6 inches or so. But it does look like that is all situated on the Citadel here, uh, which actually is a pretty small Citadel, honestly. Actually, let's double check that. What is the Citadel? Yeah, it's actually a really, really small Citadel here, um, which makes sense because I actually find the ship is quite difficult to actually get some citadel hits on. Now if we compare that with something like county, um, wait for it to load, uh, you have a lot much, or a lot more area to hit in order to hit the citadel. So you're a little bit better protected even if your armor is not necessarily stellar, but I've had no real issues with it. Just be careful of uh, rear shots. From the front, it looks like you're pretty much okay, but if you're being shot at from a stern, you might have some difficulty there. Going back, we have four twin 8-inch guns, same as County. We have two in the front, two in the rear. These have 5.5 rounds a minute. You can see all the stats here. Really good fire chance again, and the shell velocities are good as well. No complaints there. We have a max range of 15.9 kilometers, secondary range of 5.0, uh, we actually get a couple more secondaries. We now have three twin 4-inch. They're possibly 3.7s. I'm not sure. Uh, regardless, they're a pretty small caliber, but they are there in case you need them. We also have some torpedoes. 8-kilometer torpedoes. Again, with very good uh, torpedo arcs like we saw on County. You can see here, the rate of fire isn't that good, but detectability range is awesome. And, I mean, any damage you can get is good. Are they quads? I think they're quads. Let me just double check. Torpedoes, two quads. Yep, there they go. And we go 32 knots, so we're pretty fast as well. We have three planes, and they are uh, actually changed since the most recent update. They are now Supermarine Spitfires, uh, as you can see there. I don't know if this one launches a single or a double. I know that the top tier, uh, the tier 10 heavy cruiser, does have a triple plane that actually launches, or launches three of them, but I think this one might only be a single. We'll find out in the game. I, maybe it's a twin. Who knows? Regardless, um, yes, you may have a lot of superstructure that can easily be damaged by HE. Uh, I mean, you don't really have a lot of armor there, but... It is really, really good. I really do enjoy the ship. She comes with a smoke screen and the repair party and the heal, just like all the other ships. And you can use those to the best of your ability. So let's toss you into a game and see what we can do. Actually, before that, we forgot to go over AA. So let's take a look at that real quick. Uh, you can see the range is here. It's not stellar. Um, you will knock down some planes, but you're not really going to focus any of these heavy cruisers for specific anti-air uh, defense. If you want a good anti-air defense British cruiser, you might as well go with Edinburgh, uh, since she has really, really good AA, and she can equip an anti-aircraft defense barrage. So, let's toss a Surrey into a game and see what we can do. Alright, let's see what kind of game we have today. Oh, quite a few ships. We got one carrier, three battleships, quite a few cruisers, and one destroyer. So a little bit of everything, but with a focus on cruisers, especially those Chung Kings. Alright, we should be able to take care of those pretty easily. Alright, so I do have health buffs and speed buffs applied, so do keep that in mind. And I'm not entirely sure, but I actually think this was a real ship. Uh, at least from what I've heard. I haven't actually looked it up myself. But this may be the last actual, well, realistic ship for the British Heavy Cruiser line. Everything above the Surrey is kind of a, a paper ship. Okay, so let's just start heading this way. Right, so what kind of battleships do we have? Nelson, Gneisenau, and Colorado. 
Well, Nelson and Colorado are going to be the easiest ones to take care of. Nice now is going to be an issue. All of the cruisers are pretty much floating citadels, except Surrey. We're going to have to burn her down. And Fubuki is a destroyer, so just high explosive there as well. Gun angles. Something like... That. Um... Not the best, you're still going to get quite a few pens on that kind of angle if you use all four of your guns, so do keep that in mind. And torpedo angles, again, they're really, really good for this class of ship. And just in general, honestly, like I said, there's no way you can have any target pretty much escape your torpedoes with arcs like that. So we're just going to form up with this Miyoko, it looks like, and start heading this way. Though she's going to turn right and ram us, but that's fine. So she is slowing us down. All right, I want to go on this side. Please let me go. And so we should start seeing targets pretty soon. There we go, there's the Ganais now. Actually, let's see. Okay, so we only do send up a single plane. So that is confirmed single plane, but we do have three of them. So we have a little bit of wiggle room in case they're shot down. All the bots like to hit my ship today, apparently. Alright, so let's just start getting some rounds out. The accuracy is not terrible. Um, I have a focus for rotation and reload um, because I felt that her accuracy was okay. I just have to aim correctly. Yeah, we got two hits, but they were both penetrations, so that'll work out. And yeah, see, that's a pretty accurate sample, I would say. Two fires immediately, that's pretty nice, out of three hits, too. The fire chance on these ships was just ridiculously good. Look, another fire. We're already reloaded. But the ship is just pretty much going to burn down. And so we're just going to switch to our next target. Alright, so we're just going to let our fires get some good damage. Looks like the carrier might be heading towards us. So I think it's heading for the destroyer. And can we... Ooh, another fire. Let's see if we can use... The destroyer as a torpedo block. There we go. But there's a few more. Let's see if we can get another fire on the Zagano. Yep, there we go. Another fire. It's literally that easy. I guess I could try using the armor piercing though. Just to see how it does. It should be really good against cruisers like this. <laughs> yeah, three citadels. Right off the bat. And there's nowhere for this Shun King to go, so she's going to be pretty much dead in this next volley. Oh, there we go, two more citadels. What about the Agano? Actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to stop. We are going to stop and pop a smoke screen. And just sit here and shoot at all the targets we can hit. So there goes another one. You can see your armor piercing is really good against cruisers. Uh, your high explosive is good against them as well, as we saw in that Surrey. But if you wanted to, you could just farm citadels instead. I personally just like burning everything. Um, that's a style I enjoy. Uh, and especially on this Miyoko, I'm not having a good time getting some citadels. So we're just going to switch back to high explosive and see what we can do about burning him instead. So she is quite fast. There we go. We immediately got a fire. Another fire. And she's gone. Alright, let's see. We can't hit any of those. The Lustrious is over here. So we're going to have to go deal with her in a moment. But in the meantime, let's see if we can work over this Colorado a little bit.
immediately get a fire. As you can see, high explosive is going to be pretty potent on these ships. Um, and there's another one. You may not be able to fire as fast as American light cruisers, but you can still get similar results when it comes to setting fires. Random torpedoes out of nowhere. This might have been from the Agano uh, towards us. And I'm actually going to switch to armor piercing and try and work over this carrier. In the meantime, let's just launch some torpedoes out there. Who knows? Maybe we'll get a hit and they'll reload by the time we need them again. Right. So we have the broad side of the illustrious. Let's see if we can get any citadels. Nope. Alright, so let's just go back to burning them anyways. We still get pens, but I need more than that. Yeah, so that was some pretty good damage, but no fire yet. And so there's some dive bombers up, but we did get a fire. See, you can shoot down a couple planes. We're going to put our fighter back in the air since it was shot down. Um, but not really enough to stop a strike from attacking you. There's another fire. There are torpedo bombers in the air, though. And so we're going to have to use our nice maneuverability to try and dodge these torpedoes. There we go. Carriers down. We are kind of in a position where we're able to be shot at by the battleships quite a bit. Are they moving? Yes, they are. Well, we got a double fire on that Colorado right before she went down. Well, let's see what we can do against this Nelson. I'm only going to go at three quarter speed so I can pop a smoke screen immediately if I need to because I don't really want to test the ship against battleship shells all that eagerly. Okay, so immediately get a fire. You can see I'm doing a ton of damage too. That was 6,000 damage just in that one salvo. Okay, so that Nelson's behind the island. So we're going to switch targets to this Ganize now. And see if we can get some good damage on her. And we're going to keep shooting down these planes as most best as we can. We have one last plane. Let's put it up in the air. Two fires immediately. If we aim towards the back, we might be able to get another one. Although she is reversing, so I doubt it. D damaged or at least destroyed torpedo tubes. That's always nice. We don't have to worry about those, at least. We're not in range anyways, though. But you can just see that high explosive is really, really good on strip. Let's try armor piercing, see how that does. So I'm going to aim for the upper belt. Mm, four shatters and a ricochet. That was a little bit better, but we still had a couple shatters. There goes the Nelson. I guess we're just going to speed up a bit here. But, I mean, you can still get some damage, but I prefer high explosive because you just get so many good fire damage as well. And we're just going to aim for the superstructure and get some pens through there. Or have the kill be taken by the guys now. Alright, let's see how we did. Two hundred and fifty thousand damage, three ships sunk, two hundred and forty three shell hits, thirteen planes shot down, six citadels, sixteen fires, one module destroyed, over eight thousand base XP, and let's take a look. So a hundred and one thousand of the damage was just in high explosive shells. We did eighty thousand in armor piercing, but we also had quite a few citadels. Uh, so that was probably the result of most of that. Fires did sixty eight thousand damage. So, yeah, it does add up really, really quickly. Yeah, the ship is very, very good. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to shoot the destroyer, but if you hit a destroyer with an 8-inch high explosive shell, it will hurt. Um, don't get me wrong. Against cruisers, you can either burn them, 
uh, like I did to that Suri, or you can just Citadel them like the Shun Kings. Battleships, I just primarily stuck to high explosive and burned them through the superstructure because I was still getting, like, at maximum 7,000 damage as well. Uh, so that does add up really quickly over time. Carriers, you do have AA and a few fighters, but I wouldn't really say you are a good ship to take on aircraft. You may get a few kills, but not enough to really keep you alive. You're going to have to keep um, using your maneuverability to keep you alive, honestly. Torpedoes are good. Guns are good. Secondaries are good. AA is usable. Like I said, she's just a really, really good ship. I do enjoy her quite a bit. Uh, with that, that is the last ship we will have that has twin 8-inch guns. Because next video, we now have a British heavy cruiser with triple 8-inch guns. I really don't like the design of the ship, but it is actually a paper ship that was potentially going to be built, or at least it was drawn up, but it was never actually built, and so this is what we have. But next video will be on Albemarle, the Tier 8 Heavy Cruiser for the British Texture Line. So again, thank you so much for watching, and take care.